Lola and Lily, come and join the fun. Mama and Papa go hee hee and ha ha, so welcome everyone. Lola and Lily love to act silly and have adventures too. With all their friends and neighbors and Katie, they live in the city. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon, and the kids are playing a family game with Papa. Look! I picked a duck! What rhymes with duck? Duck, pock, luck. One, two, three words! Okay, Lola, your turn. Very good, Lola. Papa, Mrs. Olstein and I are going out for a walk. Lily, Lola, would you mind watching Pele while we're gone? Okay. Thank you. Pele hates being alone. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he talks. That's right. He likes to repeat everything you say. I'm Lily. I'm Lily. I'm Lily. <laughs> mm, the light bulb just burned out. Papa, would you mind changing it? Not a problem, dear. I'll take care of it right away. Thank you, darling. The leather is in the closet. Please make sure Pele doesn't get out of his cage. He'll fly around and knock things over. Okay. Have fun. We won't be gone long. Okay. Papa, can we help you fix the light bulb? Of course, Lily. Why don't you help me with the light bulb, and Lola, you be in charge of Pele. Okay, Papa. All right. You should use the ladder, Papa. Use the ladder. Use the ladder. Oh, that's too much trouble, Lily. The ladder is all the way in the closet. I can reach the bulb right from here. Hmm, I need more height. These ought to do it. Are you sure you don't want to use the ladder? No problem, Lily. I can do this. See? I got it. There we go. Lily, can you please hand me that new bulb? <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. There we go. All done. Okay, let's try it. Go ahead and turn on the light, please. See? What did I tell you? Nice work, Papa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No problem. It just needs to be tightened. <laughs> Kensington, stop that. Get away from Pele. Okay, quick, we better clean this all up before Mama comes home. Lily and Lola help Papa put the bookshelves and books back in order. They hang the frames back on the wall and put the fruits back in the fruit bowl. Lola puts Pele back in his cage, while Lily and Papa clean the rest of the mess up. <laughs> Hurry, we don't have much time. Hey, we're back. Quick. Are you in the living room? 
living room? Here, Papa, sit! Uh-oh. Did you miss us? Hi! <laughs> Did you have a nice walk? It was lovely. Thank you. Did you have a good time with Lily and Lola? What have you been doing? Oh, nothing much. <laughs> hmm. I can see that. You've been sitting around playing, and all the while the light bulb needs changing. Oh, for heaven's sake. How hard can it be to change a light bulb? Not hard at all. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right then, let's get back to our game. Use the ladder, use the ladder. What? This is a huge mess. Clean up all this mess before Mama comes home. Hurry, 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 ah, huge mess. Ah. What is he talking about? You know, this is a really funny story, and you're never gonna believe what happened. <laughs> Kenzie could knock over the bird, Casey, and then we bird got out flying all over the rail. Everybody got knocked over and landed in big mess. You It's Sunday afternoon and the family's enjoying a quiet moment together. I finished! It's wonderful, Lily. Your, your teacher's gonna love it. It's beautiful. Why did you decide to paint a rose? Teacher said we had to paint something that starts with an R. Rose! Kensington, watch out! you did. It's ruined. It's not so bad as it um. Yeah, I like the colors. It's awful. I'll have to do it all over again. And you, out until I'm finished. Come on, everyone. Let's let Lily have some privacy. And so Lily made a new painting. and get ready for school. Gee, honey, she did a really nice job on this. I know. Can you put it in an envelope for her? Sure. <laughs> Lola, no playing right now, please. It's time to get ready for school. Please, go put on your shoes. Okay, Papa. Lily. And that's how the wrong painting got turned in. Lily, I don't believe it. You did this? Oh, wait a minute. It's wonderful. It is? Everyone, look at what Lily painted. You mean you like it? No, I'm not no kidding. Well, that's great. Lily got the best grade in the class. The best? Congratulations, Lily. You're going to be the next Picasso. Who? Picasso was a famous painter, honey. But it sounds like you're even better. Words spread fast. Wonderful news, Lily. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. It was nothing, really. Now don't be modest. You made a beautiful painting. Everyone complimented her. Great work, Lily. I wish I was as talented as you. That painting was fantastic. Over the next few weeks, Lily continued to get compliments on her painting. But she was starting to feel guilty. And then something happened she didn't expect. Lily, I've got wonderful news. I entered your painting into the district contest, and guess what? You won! What? You won. No student in our school has ever won the district contest. You get to represent our school at the awards ceremony. Yes! 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 
Lily didn't know what to do. Mm. Lily, Jonah, is something wrong? I can't accept that award. Why not, honey? You deserve it. No, I don't. It's not my painting. What? I gave teacher the one that Kensington ruined. It was his painting that everyone liked, not mine. But why didn't you say anything? Was it because you liked what everyone was saying about you? Well, I didn't say it was my painting. I just didn't correct them. Letting people believe something that's not true is the same as lying. But it was such a tiny lie. I didn't think it would matter. Well, that's the problem with a lie. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. What am I going to do? I think you know what to do. The next day was the award ceremony, and Lily went up on stage to accept her award. Thank you. Thank you, but I can't accept this. The painting isn't mine. Here, Kensington. This is the real artist. My cat smeared paint all over my canvas. What you see is what he did, not me. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, Lily. Are you saying you painted this, but then your cat smeared all the colors? Uh-huh. Then you did it together, didn't you? Which means you should both share in this. What do you think? Yeah! Congratulations! You see, Lily? You still won the award for best painting. I think this award is for telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of you, Aziza. I'll never tell another lie. <laughs> Kensington, not again. No, Papa. It's his award, too. He can play with it all he likes. That looks delicious, Lola. Maybe we can have some later. Papa, look at that big Ferris wheel! Whoa, that is big. I can't wait to go up on that. with an L. Well, climb aboard, Lily with an L. And who are you? I'm Lola. It starts with an L, too. I'm sorry, Lola, but you're not tall enough to go on this ride. You have to be at least this high. I'm sorry, darling, but it's for your own safety. You can go on the baby ducky ride. But I want to go on this ride. It's all right, Azizam. Come on, I'll take you on the ducky ride. Isn't this fun? I can't reach the pedals! 
That's okay. I can do it. I want to do it. I can't see. Here, sit on my lap and you can see you. I'll paddle. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Wasn't that roller coaster fun, Papa? It sure was. Hey, guys. What took you so long? I can't reach the paddles. Here you go. <gasps> Look, Lola, it's Leaping Land. Stay together. This looks fun. Can we go in? Go ahead, have fun. Come on, Lola. Here, let me help you. No, Papa, I can do it myself. Okay. Everything all right? There we go. What's the matter, Lola? Aren't you having a good time? I'm too small for everything. I don't like the carnival. But there's still so much left to do. Lily is having a good time. <laughs> I want to go home! All right. If you're not enjoying yourself, why don't you and I go? You and Lily can come later. All right. Come on, Lola. Let's go. Help! My umbrella! Hey, what's happening? What happened? Oh, no! Turn off the motor! A call. I need the keys. Oh, no! If I could just pull this grate off... Won't budge. Here, let me try. Uh, it's not working. Can I try? Uh, my hands are too big. It's hopeless. I don't know how I'm going to get these poor people down. Uh, I'm going to have to oh, shut oh, down the oh, carnival. Oh, I'm ruined. Yeah. I don't believe it. You did it, Lola. <laughs> If it wasn't for you, Lola with an L, this day would have been a disaster. How can I ever thank you? Could I have a balloon? A balloon? Are you kidding? These are yours. Why don't you and your whole family spend the rest of the day at the carnival for free on me? That's very nice of you, sir, but Lola told me she wants to go home. Mama? Maybe we can stay a little longer? All right. More time at the fair. I'll hold these till you get back. I guess being small isn't so bad after all, is it? Bye. Bye. I love coming to the carnival! <laughs> <laughs> One goldfish for you, one goldfish for me. Two for you, and one, two, for me. Three for you, and one, two, three for me. Wait a minute. Look, a dinosaur! Hey. <laughs> we bought groceries, but we need to hurry. There's only 15 minutes left. Nauru. What's Nauru's? It's the Persian New Year, when we celebrate the coming of spring. Come on, Lola. You can help me set the table. I don't want to. But if we don't set up the table, then Amu Nauru's won't come. Who's Amu Nauru's? He's the guy who brings us gifts for the New Year. Gifts? We get gifts? Ooh. What's the goldfish for? It symbolizes life. This is called the haft sin. Haft means seven, and sin is the letter S. 
And that's why on No Ruse, we put seven things on the table that start with the letter S. S? I've got one! Soup! Very good, Lola. Soup starts with an S, but we are looking for seven specific things in Persian. This is sabze. Sabze? No. Sabze. It's wheatgrass. It represents renewal or new things. Ugh, yuck! Honey, this apple juice has gone bad. That's okay. Throw it away. I'll buy some more. This is seeb. No, it's not. That's an apple. <laughs> In English, we call it an apple. In Persian, we call it seeb. It stands for beauty. Well, if you want beauty, then I should be on the half seed. <laughs> this is somak for spices. These are seke or coins for prosperity. Go ahead and put them on the table. What's next? This is seed or garlic for health. And this is serke, vinegar for patience. This is samanu, sweet pudding. And last but not least, the samba. Flower, pretty. There we go, the half scene has been set. Now Amunoruz will usher in spring and bring you lots of gifts. Come on, Lola, let's dance. La 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 Come on, Kensington, join the fun. There you go. That's the spirit of Noruz. Look at Kensington dancing. Whoa, Kensington, watch out. Ow! Papa, do it again! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> oh, that was lucky. Oh, ow! Oh, ow! It's all right, it's all right. We could just go out and buy all this stuff again. There's no time. We only have five minutes left. Does this mean Amu Noru's will come now? <laughs> it's all right, Azizan. Here, honey, how about a goldfish? One for you, two for me. Wait a minute. Hey! We can still have Noru's. What? This can be a goldfish. It can? We have the apple, we have the coins and the garlic, and there's more spice in the kitchen rack. We can make the half season again. Hold on, what about the vinegar? The bottle's broken. Where's that apple juice? You mean the one that went bad? Aha! Uh -huh. It turned bad because it turned to apple vinegar. What? Oh. And here's our Samanu. That's not Samanu. That's a pie. Samanu is pudding. Now it's pudding. Not bad. But what about the grass? Where are you going to get that? Yes. Well, that was easy. <sighs> I don't believe it. You did it, Lily. You saved no ruse. And just in time, too. There's only 10 seconds left. Wait a minute. You're missing the sombol? Maybe we can get another flower from the yard? There's no time. What are we going to do? I have a flower. Ola, that's brilliant. We did it. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year. Does this mean Amunoru's will be bringing us gifts tonight? It sure does. Come on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Okay, now we can dance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh!
Lola, it's getting late. Time for bed. Okay, Mama. Honey, where's the remote? Ugh. Welcome to day three of the regional tennis finals, as the finalists compete for the top prize in tennis. But wait, if you order now, we'll throw in an extra set of snake knives. Women's finals are in their second day, and the stands are filling up fast. Don't wait, operators are standing by to take your order. As What's well, going on? We'll get snake knives with the other snake knives and the frying pan with the vacuum cleaner. This How did you get down there? Your pajamas are in the dryer. I just washed them. Oh, oh no! What happened? They're all green. All the clothes are green. Lola, did you leave a green crayon in your pocket? My crayon! Whoa! Are you okay? Lola, I slipped on your car. You left it lying in the middle of the hallway. My car! Hey, everybody. Who put the TV remote between the couch cushions? Mm. Lola, as this am, you're going to have to learn to put things in their proper place. Okay, Mama. <laughs> uh, I can see we're going to have to work on this. Is that my underwear? They're all green. Just think, you can wear them for St. Patrick's Day. I'd rather just wear a green shirt. Whoa! Ooh. Lola! I'm sure it must be around here somewhere, Lola. Where did you last see him? See who? Lola can't find her monkey. I want May Moon. Where'd you leave him, Azusa? She doesn't remember. Mm, that's another reason you want to put things away. So you can find him. It's all right. We will look for him in the morning. But I want him now! <laughs> What's the matter? Lola can't find her toy monkey. Aw, would you like me to help you look for it, honey? I know. Let's all help. Here we go. Wait. There. We can be detectives. What's a uh, detective? Detective. A detective is someone who finds things. I'm in. But where are you going to look? Let's start with the last place Lola was playing. I don't see it. Me either. Did you look behind the couch? No, Lola. Not under the couch. Behind the couch. It's not here. Mm, I remember Lola had Maymo with her at dinner. Aha! What are we waiting for? To the dinner table! Anyone see it? Nope. Maybe we should look under the table. No, Lola. That's not under the table. You're looking on top of the table. This is under the table. Nope. He's not under the table. Maybe we put it in the kitchen when we cleaned up. To the kitchen! Doesn't look like it's here either. Did you check above the microwave? No, Lola. You're looking below the microwave. See? The cabinets up there? These cabinets are above the microwave. No, it's not up there. Where should we look next? Did we check your closet? We didn't check there. Come on! It's not outside the closet. Let's look inside. It's not in here either. I'm sorry, Lola. We've looked everywhere. We can't find May Moon. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. We can look again tomorrow. We'll find him. Hey, what's this lump? May Moon! Well, what do you know? Here he is. He was inside your crib all the time. You did put him away. 
good girl. You see how nice it is when you put things where they're supposed to be? Mm. You can always find them again. So Lola's monkey doll was not in the toy box. It was not behind the couch. It wasn't under the table. It wasn't above the microwave. It wasn't below the microwave. It wasn't outside the closet. The family looked all around the house and they found it inside Lola's bed, right where it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs>